Hi guys, how are you guys doing? You're watching Andy Devotates. Of course, I'm Andy. Uh, you haven't seen me in a little bit. I uh, took a little bit of time off. Happy 2018. It's my first show. I hope everybody had a great uh, holidays, New Year's, the whole nine yards. Now, let's talk about Big Brother Celebrity and Big Brother Canada. I'll tell you a few things that you guys probably know and a few of my thoughts on some stuff. Now, uh, Big Brother uh, Celebrity is going to start um, f uh, February 7th and is going to be 19 days in the house. That's it. The shortest season ever in Big Brother uh, North America history. So it's going to be a very fast season. It's, and I mean fast, fast. So things are going to happen fast. It's going to be like Big Brother on steroids. Okay? That's how it's going to be. You're not going to have, like, the celebrities, when they go in there, they're not going to have the time to turn their game around, right? It, and it, they have a very short period of time. So if they mess up, it's going to be a little harder for them to turn their game around and turn the tables. That's going to be a big problem right there. And, you know, celebrities, some of them may have some attitude, all right? I'm just saying. So we're going to see how that goes, okay? Now. And how many people are going to be in the house? Well, there's going to be 10. Right? 10 celebrities. Oh, and, of course, the prize money. It's not as much as regular season. Only $250,000. So, probably after tax, you're probably looking around hundred grand in their pockets. So, it's going to be very short. Less money. So on and so forth. And, guess what, guys? The whole house is going to be redesigned uh, for these celebrities. So, it's not... The last time the house was redesigned was back... In uh, season 16, I believe. So, when they go in the house, it's not going to be the same house that uh, season 19 had, okay? So, there's some changes, so on and so forth. And plus, too, they also had to think, change some of the, probably the outside, I'm guessing, because it's winter time. And in California, it's instead of plus 25 or 30, it's probably like 15, 20. So to them, it's winter. Here in Canada, that's like a, a tropical weather. But anyways, all right, so let's kind of talk about the game a little bit. Like I said before, how, how do I think the vote's going to go and, and so on and so on? Well, I kind of was thinking about that. You know, I thought, okay, well, it's going to be a short season. There's going to be only 10 house guests in the house, right? So how's the vote's going to go? That's what I was kind of thinking. Well, logic's going to tell me, because it's such a short season, they want to, and there's going to be a lot of episodes. There's only going to be 13 episodes. So there's going to be multiple episodes during the week. Like probably more than uh, regular season. So, okay. All right. Let's talk about that. So how's the vote going to go? Well, I think myself, number one, this is important. That is there going to be a jury member? Probably so. But remember, the regular season, the jury starts for around that. Uh, when there's about 10 house guests, right? So these guys are starting at 10 house guests. So I'm going to probably think it's the house, uh, the jury's going to probably start right around seven or eight house guests left in the house. So let's say we're just going to use eight for argument's sake. So that means there's going to be six jury members. You're going to think, okay, well, wait a minute, Andy. Uh, okay, what if the vote goes 50 50, three to three? Well, this is where I'm kind of thinking that the Viewers, the American vote, if you want, is going to have that seventh vote. That's where I think it's going to happen. And I also believe, too, and this is true, or not true, but my own belief, I should say, is that when there is the eviction night, okay, the house guests, or excuse me, the house guests, the viewers, sorry, my bad, is also going to have a say in the vote. All right? So I think myself would be a combination of house guests and America vote. It's going to be interesting to think about this, though, okay? Is that the Knights, and I'd like to say, I think it's going to be a lot of double evictions, so on and so forth, so it's going to be a lot of votes real quick. Now, you can be like, you know, I mean, it can't be done. you got your cell phone, you can text it, whatever the case may be. That's what's going to happen. That's why I think it's where it's going to go. As far as vote-wise, now, uh, that that's about all we know. Basically, there's been a lot of rumors going around, oh, but this person, that person, but we just don't know. Now, when are we going to find out when the house guests that are moving in the house, when are we going to know? Well, I kind of thought about that. 
Tits is on the 7th, right? That would be, I think it's on a Wednesday. So I'm kind of thinking, okay, so that means they would probably put them, hide them away about a week before. So that'd be like around January 31st or so. And then they're probably going to release their names, I think February 2nd, let's say, right around there. So we'll have their profiles around the 2nd. That's when I think we're going to know who they are. And they're going to probably release the pictures of the house, the new house, right around that time. Now, let's talk about uh, Canada Season 6. Now, it's kind of interesting. I remember last year, guys, when they um, said oh, we're canceling Big Brother for they're putting it on the shelf for a little bit, right? You know, I kind of thought about that recently. I think, why did they do that? And all of a sudden, they announced, oh, my God, we're going to have Season 6. I think between me and you, they did that. They were not really canceling the, the show, okay? They just did that to get the hype in Big Brother Canada, right? That's what I think they did. I think they just kind of did that. They kind of put it to the side. Say, oh, we're going to shelve it for now. But I think just between me and you, it was all part of the a rouge. I hope I said it right. Okay, kind of like a, oh, look, oh, everybody wants it. Yay. So that's what I'm kind of thinking what they did. But anyways, let's talk about season six. Now, uh, it's going to start March 7th, right? So about a week or so after Big Brother Celebrity. Because they, they were, I think they were intensely on probably going right about the same date as that. But then they kind of realized they kind of conflicting against each other. So they pushed it back, which I think is a good idea. Now, like I said, March 7th, and it's going to be probably, I don't know how long it's going to be, but usually Big Brother Canada is typically between 80 to 90 days, so you guys can do the math. Now, very interesting uh, fact, actually. The old studio where Big Brother Canada was produced last year and the year before, it got sold. Jeez. So that means this season, season six, they're going to have a brand new house, brand new place. So it can be very interesting to see what they're going to do in the house, all right? But that's all I got for Big Brother Canada at the moment. Uh, you know, as soon as I get more information, of course, I'll let you guys know. And same thing with Big Brother Celebrity. Now, that's about it for now. So I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys very soon. Thanks. Bye.